the second part of this tutorial on creating a practice level for a simple ball game. First of all, I'm going to deal with the problem. If you miss the holes, the ball flies off to infinity and it won't restart the level and you have to press escape to drop out of the game. So how can we deal with that problem? With the ball selected, I'm going to add the logic bricks I need. Uh, I need an always sensor, a Python controller, and a scene actuator. I'm going to rename the scene actuator Restart. I'm going to start an, a new Python script, but I'm going to use a script template, the Game Logic Basic. I'm going to rename this Check Height to check the height of the ball. And I'm going to change the sensor to be always to match the name of the sensor. And I'm going to change the name of the actuator to be restart. The only other line we have to change is the if condition and we change that to own dot position dot z gives the horizontal uh, the vertical position of the owner object which is the ball and if that is less than minus 50 at minus 50 you can see the ball going a fair way before the level restarts we need to connect up the script to the Python controller. We need to connect up the logic bricks. And we need to put true level triggering on. Uh, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. In this case, it doesn't work without it. Let's test that. And if we deliberately miss, the ball falls off the board sets off to infinity but when it gets to minus 50 the level resets. Now you can practice for as long as you like but I want to have some way of exiting without pressing the escape key. I've picked the empty to add some logic bricks to do that. I'm going to add a keyboard sensor and I'm going to have press any key. I'm going to press Q to quit. I'm going to pass that state straight to an AND gate to a game actuator. Now the game actuator has uh, the option at the moment is start game from file and there you could load a menu level or the next level whatever you want but for simplicity I'm just on this simple example I'm just going to quit the game. So if we press start here I can score five points, quick five points and if I've had enough practicing there I just press Q and it quits. I'm going to uh, end part two of the tutorial there. If we look at the version I showed you right at the start the score is um, instead of putting it in the debug area which is great for displaying debug information but really you should put the score somewhere uh, in the game and I will show you how to do that in the final part of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. All the files as usual at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.